Dear friends, today the basic purpose of my whole discussion with you is to let you know that you are the creator of your destiny, you are the master of your fate, and you are the captain of your soul. You are what you are because of your thought. You are literally what you think about all day long. Your character, your destiny, and fate is the combination of all your thought. Now here is a time that if you believe in yourself and you know that you have the power of the mind to control and direct to whatever you want in life. So by altering the set pattern of your thought and cultivating a habit which has created great men and women on this earth who discovered and perceived the truth that they are themselves a maker of themselves by virtue of the thought they choose and encourage. And they also realize that they themselves are the master weaver of both to the inner garment of your character and the outer garment of your circumstances and environment. So here I want to mention you some more facts about how you can control your circumstances and environment. You are anxious to improve your circumstance but are unwilling to improve yourself. You therefore remain bound. You do not Shrink from self-crucification can never fail to accomplish the object upon which your heart is set. This is as true of earthly as of the heavenly things. Even the man whose sole object is to acquire wealth must be prepared to make great personal sacrifices before he can accomplish his object. And how much more so he who would realize a strong and well-poised life. Now I give you three examples of three persons who is really sowing and reaping the crop of his own harvest. What you sow, so you shall reap. Here is a man who is wretchedly poor. He is extremely anxious that his surroundings and home comforts should be improved. Yet all the time he shirks his work and consider he is justified in trying to deceive his employer on the ground of the insufficiency of his ways. Look here. Cause and effect. He is wretchedly poor because he is a dishonest man. He is a sharker. And he is not going extra mile. He has not cultivated the habit of doing more than paid for. Rather he is more bothered for his money and not doing justice to whatever he is paid. So what will happen? He is just sowing the seed which is detrimental to his becoming rich and happier and getting all the comforts in life. So the cause and effect, as you sow, so you reap. He is creating his own conditions and circumstances which are more adverse and more detrimental to him. Take the another example. Here is a rich man who is a victim of a painful and persistent disease as a result of his gluttony, he is willing to give large sums of money to get rid of it, but he will not sacrifice his gluttonous desire. He wants to gratify his test for rich and unnatural wants and have his health as well, how it is possible. The cause is his gluttony, eating much more than what is required to maintain his body and nourish his body, and he wants to get rid of it by something else which is external. He has to really remove the cause and get rectified, but he is more bothered for the fact, the result, than he is concentrating on the very root of his cause of suffering. Such a man does not understand the simplest rudiment of those principles, which are the basis of true prosperity, and is not only totally unfitted to rise out of his conditions, but is actually attracting to himself a still deeper and worse conditions of his suffering, sorrows and grief and ignorance, and acting out indolent, deceptively and unmanly thoughts. Dear friends, your cause is a really reason for your suffering, which is the result. Control your cause, result will be aut automatically, directly proportional to it. You have right over your act, over your thought, and the result will be directly proportional to that. Nothing will be less, nothing will be more. Now take the example of an employer. This man is so rich 
He has much more wealth than he can really consume. But he's a greedy man. He wants more and more, but through unfair means. That way, he's reducing the wages of his employ employers. He's trying to do a lot of deceptive things to grow his wealth. But what is happening? Ultimately, he becomes the poorest, the richest man, and also men become bankrupt. By means, you understand, you can grow only by sowing the seed of truth and justice, following the path of honesty, integrity, and character. Nothing good will come when you are sowing the seed of bad. Your intentions, your motive should be very clean and clear. That then only you can be great and successful. Otherwise, you will only be reaping what you are sowing. Be very sure about it. Yes. I thank you very much for being a part of my journey towards enlightenment and happiness and success. I thank you very much.